a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Miranda Kerr Miranda May Kerr is an Australian model. Kerr rose to prominence in 2007 as one of the Victoria's Secret Angels. Kerr was the first Australian Victoria's Secret model and also represented the Australian department store chain David Jones. Kerr has launched her own brand of organic skincare products, Cora Organics, and has written a self-help book. Kerr began modeling in the fashion industry when she was 13, winning the 1997 Dolly Magazine model search competition. Since 2008, Kerr has consistently ranked on the Forbes list of highest-earning models. Early Life Kerr was born in Sydney and raised in Gunnedah, New South Wales. She is the daughter of Therese and John Kerr. She was a brother, Matthew, who is two years younger. In an interview, Kerr stated that her ancestry is mostly English, with smaller amounts of Scottish and French. During her childhood, Kerr raced motorbikes and rode horses on her grandmother's farm. She describes her early life in the Australian countryside as very grounding. There wasn't any pretentiousness, and no one really cared what you were wearing. You could just be you. Her family moved to Brisbane to allow Kerr and her brother to experience city life. She graduated from All Hallows School in 2000. Kerr studied nutrition and health psychology before pursuing modeling. 1997-2006, Career Beginnings At age 13, Kerr entered and won the 1997 annual Dolly Magazine slash Impulse Model Competition. She was flown to Sydney a week before her 14th birthday to shoot for the magazine. Upon Kerr's win, local media expressed concerned outrage. At her young age, the controversy raised concerns about the glorification of young girls within the fashion, beauty, and entertainment industries. Some media outlets claimed her dolly shoot constituted a form of pedophilia. Of the press, Kerr said, in the media at the time they were trying to cling on to anything remotely to do with pedophilia. Dolly is a magazine for teenage girls, not for old men, and I was fully clothed, doing a winter shoot. They just made something out of nothing. Kerr signed to Chic Management's Sydney division. She received considerable commercial exposure after a series of beach war ads predominantly for Australian surf chain Billabong, in which Kerr modelled surf brands Tiger Lily, Roxy, Billabong Girls, and One Teaspoon. This increased her profile in the Australian and Asian markets, after which Kerr relocated to New York where she became co-owner of the Bowery Ballroom in New York. Kerr had a multitude of runway appearances and then signed with Next Model Management in early 2004. From there, she was booked for runway and print campaigns for labels, including Alex Perry, Baby Fat, Lisa Ho, Voodoo Dolls, Levi's, Bettina Lionel, Nicola Fonetti, LAMB Heatherette, Betsy Johnson, Trellise Cooper, Jets, John Richmond, Blue Marine Swimwear, Neiman Marcus, Sea Folly Swimwear, Anna Molinari, Rock and Republic, Roberto Cavalli, and Aubergines. Kerr was also booked for print in magazines such as Elle, Australian Vogue, and Harper's Bazaar, and was featured in Australian television advertisements for clothing and hair removal products. In early 2006, Kerr appeared on the TV show Project Runway, modeling clothes for contestant Daniel Vosovic's final collection. She signed a contract with cosmetics firm Maybelline New York along with several other Victoria's Secret and Next Agency models. Kerr was also featured in a music video for the single, Number One, by artists Kanye West and Pharrell. 2007-2012, Victoria's Secret and High Fashion Work Following her success with Maybelline, Kerr became the first Australian model to be offered a contract with Victoria's Secret in 2007. Upon her acceptance, she became the first ever Australian Victoria's Secret Angel joining the stable of models already signed to the lingerie giant, including Alessandra Ambrosio, Carolina Kurkova, Adriana Lima, Salita Airbunks, Isabel Goulart, and Heidi Klum. Before becoming an angel in 2007, Kerr was already picked to become the successor of Alessandra Ambrosio as the face of Pink in 2006. 
Kerr's popularity continued to increase as one of the globally recognized angels when she appeared in the Victoria's Secret 2006, 2007, 2008 and 2009 televised runway shows, which aired on four continents. In 2007, Kerr signed on as the face of Californian fashion retailer Arden B after debuting in their spring and some rad campaigns, Kerr returned for their fall 2007 campaign, shot by fashion photographer Diego Uquetel. Following her modeling success with Victoria's Secret, Kerr made a small guest appearance in the CBS sitcom How I Met Your Mother alongside fellow angels Adriana Lima, Marissa Miller, Alessandra Ambrosio, Heidi Klum, and Salita Ebanks. In 2008, Kerr became the new face of the fragrance Clinique Happy, and signed a six-figure deal to be the new face of Australian department store David Jones, replacing model Megan Gale. She also appeared on the cover of British Harper's Bazaar, earning an estimated $3.5 million over the previous 12 months. Forbes placed Kerr at number 10 on the list of the world's top earning models. In June 2009, Kerr posed naked, chained to a tree for an issue of Rolling Stone Australia, to raise awareness for the endangered koalas. In August, Kerr released an inspirational self-esteem, self-help book, Treasure Yourself. Treasure Yourself is aimed at female teenagers. In October, Kerr launched her own brand of organic skincare products, Cora Organics, with George Moskus, and became the face for the company. Kerr also shot a spring-slash-summer ad campaign for XOXO, Kerr appeared in Forbes' 2009 list of the world's highest paid models, ranking at number 9, with estimated earnings of $3 million. She left Next Model Management and signed with IMG Models. She then ended the year walking in the annual Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Kerr appeared in the 2010 Pirelli calendar, photographed by Terry Richardson in Bahia, Brazil. Previously better known for her Victoria's Secret status rather than her high fashion work, Balenciaga is credited for launching her high fashion modeling career when casting directors Ashley Brocco and Nicolas Gesquier chose her to walk exclusively for the brand's spring 2010 runway show. It was her first designer fashion show, aside from Victoria's Secret, since 2007. A season later she walked for design company Prada for their full 2010 collection in Milan alongside fellow angels Doubts in Crows and Alessandro Ambrosio. Kerr then modeled for campaigns for Prada and Jill Sander, and was shot by Stephen Meisel for the cover of Italian Vogue. For September, she appeared on the Forbes 2010 list of the world's highest paid models, ranking at number 9 where she earned $4 million. In January 2011, Kerr became the first pregnant model for Vogue when featured in Vogue Australia, being six months pregnant at the time of the shoot. In March she hit the catwalk for Balenciaga's fall 2011 ready-to-wear collection as part of Paris Fashion Week, two months after giving birth. Kerr also posed nude for a 2011 Harper's Bazaar photo shoot. In October at Paris Fashion Week SS12, Kerr walked for Dior, Lonvin, Chanel, John Galliano, Stella McCartney, Victor and Rolf in Loewe. Kerr was chosen to present the $2.5 million of Victoria's Secret Fantasy Treasure Bra for their fashion show in November 2011. Kerr then featured in the spring 2012 campaign for Bali alongside Julia Stegner. In January 2012, she was named ambassador for Qantas. In March, Kerr walked for Chanel and Mio Mio at Full Slash Winter Paris Fashion Week. Kerr was featured on the June cover of Numero Tokyo shot by Nino Munoz. In August, Kerr appeared on the cover of Vogue Turkey and in November, was named the new face of high street brand Mango, replacing Kate Moss for its spring-slash-summer 2013 campaign. Kerr placed at number 7 in Forbes 2012 list of the world's highest paid models with earnings of $4 million. 2013 present, continued success. In March 2013, negotiations to renew her five-year contract with David Jones, fell through, leading to a peaceful split between the two parties. The following month, it was reported that Kerr's three-year, $1 million contract with Victoria's Secret was not being renewed. Anonymous sources claimed Kerr had a difficult reputation, and was not a big seller for Versus. However, Kerr's camp stated she was unable to commit the necessary time to the brand. 
In response, Victoria's secret chief marketing officer Red Rosek stated he had already invited Kerr to walk in that year's fashion show. Kerr headlined the April issue of Vogue Australia and the July issue of Vogue Korea. She was ranked number two in Forbes' 2013 list of the world's highest paid models, with estimated earnings of $7.2 million, which is $3.2 million more, and a jump of five places in the list from the previous year. In October, Kerr was named the face of Austrian Crystal House Swarovski for their fall 2013 campaign, and that December she starred in social shopping website Shop Style's first national campaign. In February 2014, Kerr became the face of Swedish clothing brand H&M. She then featured in high-profile campaigns for Reebok and Wonder Bra. In March, Kerr opened and closed for Sonar Reichel at Full Slash Winter Paris Fashion Week. On the 22nd of April 2014, Kerr released her first single online, featuring her and greener Bobby Fox, in a cover of Elvis Presley's You're the Boss. In July, Kerr became the face of the Escada fragrance, Joyful, attending the launch at the brand's flagship Munich store. Kerr modeled for the covers of the May issue of Vogue Taiwan and the July issue of Vogue Australia. She was among the 50 models on the September cover of Vogue Italia, celebrating the magazine's 50th anniversary. She was also prominently featured in the November 15-year anniversary issue of Vogue Japan, shot by Mario Testino. Kerr ranked number three on the 2014 Forbes list of highest-turning models, earning an estimated $7 million. Kerr was the gov model for the February 2015 issue of American Harper's Bazaar, shot by Richardson. She also covered the March issue of Australian Harper's Bazaar, shot by Kai Zedfeng. In July, Kerr designed a jewelry line with Swarovski, having served as the face of the brand since 2013. Kerr spoke of the collaboration, I wanted it to be reflective of myself and my personality, and who I am. And, Swarovski, really let me have full creative control. I knew what I wanted. I wanted it to be fine, and delicate and have meaning. And hopefully, inspiration. Kerr ranked number 6 on the 2015 Forbes list of highest turning models, earning an estimated $6.5 million. She then appeared on the December cover of Vogue Thailand the first Australian model to do so. She was also shot by Doug English in a short video as part of Love's annual advent calendar. Kerr began 2016 fronting Ricardo Tiss's spring-slash-summer campaign for Givenchy, alongside models including Joan Smalls, Natalia Vodianova and fellow Australian, Gemma Ward. Her January-slash-February cover for Australian Harper's Bizarre sparked controversy, depicting a nude Kerr under the cover line. What lies beneath? The cover was later pulled from the national supermarket chain, Coles. In March, Kerr was announced as the face of Joe Fresh's Fall campaign. She also featured on international covers of Elle, Harper's Bazaar, Madame Figaro and L'Official. In June, she opened Jeremy Scott's Resort 2017 show for Moschino, alongside veteran models including Devon Aoki and fellow Victoria's Secret Angels Chanel Iman and Alessandro Ambrosio. The same month, Kerr filmed a guest mental role on Cycle 10 of Australia's Next Top Model. Kerr ranked number 10 on the 2016 Forbes list of highest paid models, earning an estimated $6 million. In February 2017, Kerr featured in a commercial for Buick, alongside Cam Newton, which aired during Super Bowl 51. In July, she appeared in a video campaign for Louis Vuitton entitled Connected Journeys. Celebrating the launch of the brand's Tambor Horizon smartwatch, which also featured celebrities including Jennifer Connolly, Duna Bay, Jaden Smith, and Catherine Deneuve. Public Image In February 2010, Kerr became the subject of global headlines when David Keeley, a banker at Macquarie Bank in Sydney, was caught viewing explicit photos of her on his computer while in the background of a colleague's live television interview with Channel 7. Within days, a clip of the interview uploaded onto YouTube received over 1.3 million hits. Eventually, Keeley was suspended, and an internet campaign launched on his behalf. Kerr herself gave him her backing, I am told there is a petition to save his job, and of course I would sign it. The incident prompted a 100% increase in the number of Google searches for Kerr's name. A few days after the incident, Macquarie Bank announced that Keeley would keep his job. 
Kerr has frequently been said to be one of the sexiest women in the world. Models.com ranks her number 4 on the top 20 sexiest models. She has been ranked in FHM's 100 Sexiest Women poll at number 56 in 2009, number 36 in 2010, number 44 in 2011, number 51 in 2012, number 56 in 2013, and number 48 in 2014. Kerr was named one of the 100 hottest women of all time by Men's Health beating the likes of Audrey Hepburn, Grace Kelly, and Sophia Loren. She was named Sexiest Woman Alive 2012 by Esquire UK. She is also regularly ranked on Ask Men's list of top 99 women coming in at number 19 in 2008, number 46 in 2009, number 10 in 2010, number 5 in 2011, number 25 in 2012, Number 6 in 2013 and number 46 in 2014. Kerr's model trademark is her dimples. Celebrity photographer Russell James stated, The US has fallen in love with her. We love her. Because she has the most incredible girl next door look and she's also insanely beautiful. It means women are not intimidated by her looks, and guys think they might be able to talk to her. It's a fantastic combination. People want to be around her. She's fun on a shoot. And she's not stupid, which can be a very annoying trait among some models. Model agent Ursula Hoofnagel described Kerr as the perfect endorsement, citing her ability to truly sell a product. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?